Once upon a time, in a little town called Anapotamia, lived a baker named Finn. He would bake cakes, pies, cookies, and everyone in the town would visit his shop to buy his food. He was a very honest person and precise baker who kept checking his scales and made sure that he gave his customers exactly what they paid for. That's more like it. People loved buying from Finn's bakery because everything was delicious. And his precision made him a trustworthy seller. One pound of your best cream cake, please. Sure. Perfect. Here you go. Have a nice day. His bakery was always filled with people buying his food, especially on Angel Nikolai Day. There would be a line of people waiting to get his delicious Angel Nikolai cookies. The gingerbread cookies, topped with a sugary red and white icing, looked just like Angel Nikolai, with a red and white hat and a long red cloak. The hypnotizing aroma of the gingerbread cookies spread throughout the town, drawing people to his bakery. That Angel Nikolai day morning, as the doors to the bakery opened, people began to walk in to get their cookies. Oh, I am so excited to get a batch of those amazing cookies. Yes, they are so good. I can't wait for my turn. I'm going to buy a whole dozen. <laughs> Come on, let's go. People from all over the town flocked to Finn's bakery to pick up a batch of his famous Angel Nikolai cookies. But it was one particular customer that would change Finn's fate forever. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes? Huh? Hey? Ex excuse me, down here. Uh, oh, forgive me, miss. I did not see you there. Oh, what can I get you? I would like a dozen of your Angel Nikolai cookies, please. Coming right up! Finn took the tray and picked up 12 cookies and placed them in the box. He packed up the box and handed it over to the little girl. Uh, excuse me, I had asked for a dozen, but you gave me only 12 cookies. Uh, yes, because a dozen means 12. But, but my mummy told me it is 13. Can you please give me one more? Uh, sorry, kid. I always give customers exactly what they pay for. Nothing more, nothing less. But, but... Hi, kiddo. It's going to be just fine. Why don't you just give her one? Everyone knows a dozen is 12, so I gave her 12. Now I say a dozen is 13. Won't you give the little girl one just to make her happy? No, I cannot. Then, Mr. Finn Baker, you may be an honest man, but your heart is small. You will fall and you will mount, and that is when you will learn how to count. Saying this, she stormed out of the bakery, followed by the little girl. Ah, oh, that was strange. From that day on, everything began to go wrong. The bread rose too much, and the pies he made were too sour. Oh my, this cake is so chewy. Yeah, and my cookie is not baked properly. I'm never coming back here. Soon, people noticed how bad his food had become and slowly stopped going to his shop. He went from one of the most successful bakers in the town to a shop that nobody went to. What do I do? That lady has cast an enchantment on me. Finn went on with it for days, selling less and baking less. People rarely came to get food from his bakery now and at the end of the day, he would go home sad. A year had passed, and it was days before the Angel Nikolai Day when Finn found himself sitting in his bakery all alone, with nobody to buy his precious Angel Nikolai cookies. 
That night, sad and dejected, he closed his shop, went home, and slept. Almost done. Huh? How did this burn again? Oh, Angel Nikolai, help me! Just as he said that, he found himself in a room filled with children, and in the midst of the crowd sat Angel Nikolai, handing out presents to them. No matter how many presents he handed out, the pile of gifts never seemed to lessen. If anything, they doubled in number. Wow! Giving seems like such a joyous feeling. Everyone looks so happy. Ha! <laughs> See what I got? Wow, huh? How did this happen? Finn found himself as a young boy standing in awe when Angel Nikolai handed over a gift to him. It was one of his own famous Angel Nikolai cookies. Uh, thank you, Angel. It's you! Yes, Finn. It's me, Ava Nora. I think you have learned what you need to. Now you shall wake, for good food you will bake, and with every cookie people's hearts will merry make. He woke up with a start as the moonlight shone through the curtains, and he sat there thinking. I have always been one to give my customers exactly what they pay for. But why not more? It's such a good feeling to give. It spreads so much joy. On Angel Nikolai Day, at the break of dawn, Finn went to the bakery and began to make the cookies, putting together all his ingredients with a big grin on his face. He rolled up the gingerbread dough and cut up the pieces with a mold and soon they were baked. And now, the icing! He spread the red and white icing over the cookies and made them look exactly like Angel Nikolai. He was very happy with the cookies, which looked better than any that he had made before. Bravo! These look fantastic! Just as he was done, Evanora walked in and went straight up to him. I would like a dozen Angel Nikolai cookies, please. Seeing Evanora in the bakery, he smiled and immediately counted 12 cookies and one more, then handed it over to Evanora. Here you go. From now on, in my bakery, a dozen is 13. Mm, you have learned to count well. You will surely be rewarded for your generosity. Saying this, she thanked the baker and walked out of the door. And what she had foretold was indeed true, as the news that Finn counted 13 as a dozen spread quickly, and people from all over the town rushed to get a dozen of his delicious cookies. I want a dozen! Me too! Me too! And soon he became so wealthy that he decided to give food to the poor every weekend for free which drew more and more people from the town and around to buy food from his bakery. Thus learning that honesty and generosity are important to spread the spirit of joy in the world. <laughs>